Good morning. Good morning. This is Mr. Handy Clement for your year seven science today. Today we are sharing this book, which is a uh, uh, people and uh, people and planet. Okay, from this book. Hope you enjoy this sharing. We will, we will be studying this book with you together. Okay, today. Okay. Firstly, we are go through to this uh, this figure six point one, which is can you see? This is an arrow. And this is the 200,000 years ago, which, which is a scientist believe that the human species first uh, developed in the east of Africa about this year and gradually spread north over the next 100,000 years and then moved into the land to the east and to the west. The arrow shows the path the people took as they migrate across the world. The number shows how long ago people reached the various part of the world. If you are staying in the Australia, human is about, um, is rich, was rich uh, there around 50 years ago. And then you, if you are from the, maybe from North America, it's about 12,000 years ago. Can you see this, there's an arrow how they move around the world. In early time, only few people today live uh, as the uh, earliest people did as the uh, hunter and gatherers. As we describe on the page 10 and 11, okay? These people live in a small group and collect enough food for themselves from their surrounding. When food supply fails, they move on. Yes, letting the plant and animal breed back to their former numbers. So in future, the people could return and harvest them again. The people also use materials such as wood for fuel and making temporary building as they move around. About 100 years ago, people living in the land that are now in Turkey, Iraq, Iran, and part of the Saudi Arabian began farming. Yes, they start to farm, you know. Farming makes something change, huh? okay? Afterwards, farming spread to Egypt and North America and into Europe and Asia. Farming involved clearly the land of the nature habitats to make fields for the growth of the crops. This is a picture of farming. Farming provide foods for a large number of people who gathered into the village. Yes, now they settle already, settle down, settle, okay? Town and eventually city. Farming also allowed some people to work under in other occupations such as pot making, furniture making, cloth making, and metal working. And the trade in good built up between the neighboring country rich from, reaching from Ireland in the west to the China in the east. From here to here. During this time, the source of power for farming, for making goods and the transport were the people themselves and animals they domesticated, such as cattle, horses and asses. Animal power was much greater than human power. For example, it could take people 10 weeks to prepare an area of land for crops by using hand tools, but only eight days 
to prepare the same area of land with a broad pool by an oxen. For most of people, human history would have been used as a fuel to provide, yes, heat energy for cooking, for, for keeping warm, and for preparing materials such as pottery and metals. Fuel wood is still used in many places today. Some, uh, some early machine uh, is invented around 2,200 years ago. An ancient Greek invented a machine that used the power of running water to grind the flour. This machine was the water mount. It had a wheel that was turned by the water and a mechanism to transfer this turning motion to stone for grinding up flour. In time, water power was used for a wider range of the processes such as sawing wood, weaving, and pumping blows on the forge to provide heat for metal workers. The first windmill was invented around 1,500 1, years ago in Persia in the land that is now Iran. The sail turned around in vertical axis later in Europe. The Wima was leveled with a horizontal axis. Its main purpose was grinding grain and pumping water. Yeah, this is the thing. This early windmill in Greece has a child small sails to catch the wind. Later windmills such as those in Holland have four large sails. In the round year 1698 in England, Thomas Savery invented the steam engine. It produced an up and down movement and was using the pumping water out of the mines, but because of occasionally boiler explosion, other inventors got to work on it for it. In 1783, James Watt had built a much safer steam engine, which could produce rotary motion like water spill and windmill. In time, this engine became very powerful and were used to drive all kinds of machines in, in factories, from paper mounts to ironworks. As the so-called, you see, this steam engine brings an industrial revelation. Okay, they require large amount of fuel. This could not be provided by the wood that was available, so coal was used instead. So now we have some so called urbanization, right? Because the people flock to the city to work in the factory as they could earn more money than they staying in the countryside and working on farm. Many industrial towns grew in the size of city. And the smoke released from the factory chimneys polluted the air above them. In the half of the 19th century, the English scientist called Michael Federe found that a magnet was made to move quickly past a wire, a current of electricity was generated in the wire. This discovery led to the development of the electrical generator. Yes, generator is a thing that you can change the move, movement okay, to electric, in which a large magnet is made to spin around inside an even larger coil of wire and produce electricity. Today, in many power stations, the magnet is attached to the turbine, which is made to spin by driving steam over it. The water to provide the steam was originally heated by the burning coal, and many power stations, as you can see, still use coal today, but in other sources are to be used. This includes oil and gas, which, like coal, are fossil fuel and non-renewable. 
this is one of the this is one of the power set station power plant. Other country will use a hydroelectric uh, power. That means they block, uh, they build a dam so that the water can accumulate and until very high and powerful. And then they can be passed through very fast high pressure and to turn the huge turbine and to gener generate electricity. And uranium, uh, a nuclear fuel. Just now, okay, non nuclear and uranium also another way, yeah? which is also non-renewable. Some power stations are like this, yeah? renewable source of energy. This includes the water power and hydroelectric power station, just now this one, and the wind turbine in the wind farm. There are other sources of renewable energy in addition to the wind and the water. This includes the geothermal energy from the hot rocks in the, in the earth, solar energy from the sunlight, this is a solar panel, and energy from burning the unwanted remains of crop plants such as sugarcane. Energy can also be obtained by growing plants, especially for burning, such as oil palm, which are called biofuel. Methane gas produced from the waste stored in the landfill site also be burned to provide energy. This is one of the sample. Then the methane gas produced at the landfill site is being collected using this equipment to as a fuel. After a steam engine okay, is invented, engineer began to put it to use in transporting people and goods. Uh, they developed steam locomotive, which is the train, right? Drive the machine along. This locomotive re revolutionized transport during the 19th century because they mean that the heavy loads could be carried quickly over a large distance. Some are still in use today. Petrol and diesel engine were developed from the steam engine, you see the idea, and have replaced it as the main power source in the car, truck, and bus today. Petrol and diesel are made from the oil. So this is the steam locomotive is pulling a train across the bridge in India. Do do. That engine was developed in the middle of the 20th century and now used in the most aircraft carrying people and goods around the world. This run on a fuel called kerosene. Huh? That also made from oil. The fuel used in the steam engine produce carbon dioxide gas, petrol, diesel and jet engine also produce carbon dioxide gas. This helped the atmosphere to hold on to heat from the sun. Okay, so we have the green down effect. This one we will be learning deep data today also. So people today, many people still live as people did in the past. They use animals to provide power and a few wood for cooking and keeping warm. In countries where industry has developed, many people have electricity in their homes and workplace. They travel in vehicle with petrol and diesel engines and some of the goods they buy, especially fresh fruits, which can turn back quickly, is flown in from other countries on jet aircraft. This is the thing that we enjoy today. The towns and the city around the world consume vast amount of energy, food, material to make all kinds of goods. And you can see this scenery okay, in all the big city. And all the goods are still in the supermarket are coming from all around the world. Can you see? Now we need to learn a little bit about when human human have uh, in the human tree, what they, what they change the environment. Okay, first you can see a this this a picture that a helicopter spraying tree in an orchard with pesticide. Yes, this is how they pesticide the spray huh? in the very, very uh, mass uh, quantity. Okay, so now they're also using the drone, huh? D R O N E. You may have a look with the drone on the internet. 
to research on how they spray on the pesticide. When people began farming, they destroyed their local habitat to make the field, I mean, they clear the land to grow crops and keep livestock. The destruction of the habitat destroyed the organism and the food chain that bounds them together. Today, farmers need to produce huge amount of food for the world's human population, so pests that attack crops have to be killed. Chemical called pesticide. Okay, pests means the the pests. Okay, pesticide means something to kill. Are used. And some are harmful to other animals. The space slowly builds out in the body of the pest as it feels. If it is eaten by a predator such as a insectivorous, which is the bird that it, bird that it that feed on the insect, the pesticide pass on, uh, pass further up the food chain. If this bird is then eaten by a tertiary consumer, such as a sparrow hawk, the pesticide is passed on and stored in the hawk's body. After eating many of its prey, the hawk can be received a fatal dose of, of poison, may cause it to lay weak shell eggs, which fail to survive. Not all pesticides are as harmful as this, and many governments have rules for farmers to follow to protect the environment. When factory and trade began to grow a large amount of the fuel and steam engine were needed, coal mines were dug on the ground, so face was ripped off to make an open cast mine. Destroy the habitat and their food chain again. Can you see the mine? As factory began to produce more and more goods, they needed large amount of materials such as metal. Rock contained the metal such as orbs. Orbs means what? Oh, the, 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 the rock that contains all the metals are dug up of the ground in open cast mines in many parts of the world, destroying even more habitat and food chains. So after we change, we see the changes on the sea, uh, on the land, then we come to the changes on the sea. But before that, you can see this is the new, this is open cast mining in the rainforest in the Papua New Guinea. Change in the sea. Can you see this duck, a seabird? It's contaminated, uh, it's contaminated by the oil from a spillage. Seeing all the oil. Oil can be taken out of the ground without too much environment damage, but there is a break in an oil pipe or oil pipe at sea, or if an oil tanker, oil tanker is a is a is a big ship uh, that take the, the tanker that take the oil, runs around while they're transporting it. A spillage can cause a great deal of the damage for many years. Changes in the atmosphere. Okay, this first atmosphere on the Earth was produced by the gas escaping from erupting, erupting volcanoes about five million years ago. This gas was water vapor, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. Three million years ago, the first plant developed and as they make food from carbon dioxide and water, using the energy in the sunlight, they produce oxygen, which enter the atmosphere at this time. About 25 km above the Earth's surface, <clears throat> ultraviolet rays from the sun reacted with oxygen, in the atmosphere to produce a layer of ozone. This clean out large amount of the harmful rays on the sun and make the world safer place for living things. Okay, this is the topic that we need to learn today. It's about, the first topic is about the greenhouse effect. When rays from the sun reach the atmosphere, they pass through it and the Earth's surface 
and some of the heat energy they carry warms the planet. Yes, they come in and warms the planet. Some of this heat is radiated back through the atmosphere to space. Yeah, some are radiated soon, going back. As, the, as it travels back through the atmosphere, some of it is absorbed by the carbon dioxide. However, some are absorbed by the carbon dioxide. Can you see? Toing, coming back again. This trapped heat also heat warms the planets and help to make a place where the life can thrive. That means that it's warmer. Today, large amount of carbon dioxide were entering the atmosphere due to the human activity, such as burning fossil fuel in the power, power station using huge number of vehicles that release carbon dioxide in their exhaust. This is the evidence that the climate is beginning to change and that the planet will become warmer. There is also evidence that the Earth has warmed and cooled a little in the past, naturally. However, it could be that this time the extra carbon dioxide produced by the human activity is adding to the heat effect and this may produce great changes to habitats around the world. Okay. So some of the light coming in hit the wall, some are bounced back, and some can escape into the space. But greenhouse gas such as uh, carbon dioxide, methane, okay, they, uh, they, they, they help, they help, they, they actually absorb some of the heat, so the, uh, the earth becomes hotter or warmer now. That's the rain. There are some gas occurring naturally in the atmosphere that dissolve in the water drops in cloud and make them make the rain slightly acid. Eh? Okay. Some of these gas contain sulfur, yes. The main thing is the sulfur dioxide, which are produced by erupting volcanoes and algae that live in the sea. Some other acid gas, such as nitrogen, nitrogen oxide are produced by lightning reacting with oxygen in the atmosphere. They are also released when fossil fuel are burned in the power station and factory and in petrol and diesel engines, in cars and vehicles. In some places, the acid rain from the power station are blown by prevailing wind in one direction, say to the west for a long time. When this happened, rain produced to the west of the power station are unusually, unusually acid, you know, and this caused the soil damage, which kill the plants. A frost of spruce tree damaged by the acid in Europe. Acid also occurs in Taiwan, China, and parts of the US, uh, United States, and Canada. So this is this is the ozone layer. That's how we learn it. Right? Okay. Some some twenty five came away, right? Okay. This is the hole. Okay. The hole of the ozone layer is shown by the purple color. The hole varies in the size throughout the year, and this image was make it cover almost the whole of the Antarctica. Okay. In the 1990, 1920s, a gas called chloro floral carbons were made for the first time. They were used to keep things cool in fridge and air conditioning. And because they squash easily, they were used in aerosol sprays, okay? Or maybe for your hair, hair gel, hair style, okay? The CFC entered in the atmosphere. In the 1980s, scientists noticed that the whole world developing in the ozone layer around the North Pole and South Pole. When they inv investigate this, the scientists found that the CFC destroyed the ozone in the atmosphere. And since then, the government of the 196 country have agreed to deduce the use of the of these chemicals. So, is it the time to save our environment, our planet? It is clear that human activity has had a major influence on the environment, resulting in habitat destruction and increasing the number of endangered or your species, right? It could also be making the planet a less suitable place for human life. Many people realize this and 
have begun to level up activities to reduce the environmental damage that has been done in the past and still happening today. Below are some examples of such activities. Cutting energy use. To save energy, both at home and in the workplace, we should switch off light and electrical equipment that is not in use and not leave television and computer on standby mode. Low energy light bulbs can be fitted in the home and washing machine could be used only when there is a full load of the to wash, okay? Clothes should be dried outside whenever possible instead of using a tumble dryer. When the temperature begins to fall, we can save energy by putting on warm cloth rather than just having a central heating thermostat turn out high. Can you see? This is a tire, but this is actually a shoes. Huh? Okay. A shoes. Many of the things that we are used are thrown away eventually. A newspaper is thrown away after a day, a plastic lemonade bottle after perhaps three days, and some item of coffee after a year. All of these things can be recycled. That is, use the material they have made and can be used to make a new something new. The material in the many countries, such as a tree <coughs> and cartridge for computer printer ink, can be recycled too. Reducing product in their original form is even more environmentally friendly than recycling the material from which they are made. As no energy is needed for processing the material, which means that uh, you are not, you just using, you just use uh, the the water bottles, okay, again and again and again, okay, it's not about recycling. Second is that you you change it and uh, you melt it, melt the plastic and change it to other things, uh. For example. Using plastic shopping bag more than once cut down the both of the raw material needed to make the new bags and the energy used to recycling plastic from old bags. Using last crow bag is better still because they are made of the renewable material rather than the plastic, which come from the oil, and they last much longer than the plastic bag. While everyone can alter their lives star to help the planet, some problems can only be tackled by large organizations such as company and environment, and not such a uh, company and government, sorry. Last key projects to address such as problems include setting up a recycling scheme, developing alternative way for generating electricity to reduce the effect of the burning fossil fuels, reduce the use of the CFCs, reduce the use of harmful pesticides, for in farming, developing devices to reduce pollution such as catalytic converter filtered with the exhaust pipe of petrol and diesel engine to remove harmful gases. These approaches are aimed to reduce the impact of the human activity on the damaged environment, allowing it to recover over time. Many countries have also set aside protected area where the aim is to prevent environmental damage occur in the first place. These areas are known as national park, national reserve, or wildlife sanctuaries. The species of plant and animal live in them are monitored using a variety of techniques, including those okay, uh, we have learned before, okay, and the damage to the environment is prevented by enforcing a set of the special regulation and laws. So law is set no? so that to protect the planet, animals, and plants. Okay, so allow me to, to show you again what, what about today's learning. So this is Mr. Henry Clement for your sharing today. Early times, early machines, steam engine.
generating electricity. And then we have transportation, transport, and people today. Then we come to the changes in the environment on the land, in the sea, in the atmosphere. Okay. And we talk about greenhouse effect as rain, ozone layer. And we discuss about the cutting the energy use, recycling to change the, 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 the form of, of the things. The using using it uh, repeatedly, and there are some work of the government and the company actually to help to preserve and reserve uh, all these things. Okay, thank you for joining me today. This is Mr. Handy Clement for your chapter six people and the planet. Thank you, thank you. This is year seven.